Hey guys, welcome to my tutorial on how to boost your mic level and prevent clipping distortion in OBS. If there are issues with stream audio, it's usually one of two things. The streamer's mic level is too low or the mic level is clipping and distorting. The level being too low is something that I see a lot. The streamer will receive complaints from chat that their voice is too low or it's being drowned out by music or the game audio. And the streamer will respond by saying that there's nothing they can do about it. Now for me, my mic is plugged into an external audio interface. If I need to add gain to my mic, I can just crank the preamp knob on the interface. But I know a lot of people aren't using a setup like this. Uh, some people are using their webcam mic or otherwise. Otherwise don't know how to control their input level. So before I show you the best way to boost your mic level and prevent clipping, I'm gonna show a more well-known way of boosting your level in OBS and then I'll explain why it's not as good. Right click on the mixer. Select Advanced Audio Properties. Now every channel here is at zero because they're turned all the way up on the mixer, but you can turn it up even more here by typing in the amount of decibels you wanna boost it by. By the way, I'm recording my voice separately in Reaper so you won't hear the massive changes in volume as I make adjustments. Start with 12 dB. And as you can see on the meter down here, that it's significantly louder Let's try 25 dB. Take a look at the meter and you can see it's clipping. The meter turns red when it clips. Bring it back to 18 dB. This is a pretty healthy level. This would be okay for most situations, but if you tend to raise your voice a lot, you know, yelling at video games, going crazy on stream, you will have issues with clipping distortion. So now I'll show you a better way of boosting volume and preventing clipping. So change this back to zero. Right click on the mixer. This time select filters. Right click. Select gain. And with this you can add up to 30 decibels of level. I'll add about 18. Right click again, add limiter. A limiter is basically an extreme compressor and will act as a brick wall to the signal, which will prevent the peaks from hitting digital zero and clipping. Set the threshold to around negative one. Okay, that's a good setting. And leave the release at 60 milliseconds, that's fine. Now watch the meter as I crank the level with the gain filter. Watch the meter down here. Crank it up. Okay, it's at 27 decibels and it's not clipping. Okay, let's disable the limiter and it's clipping, of course. I would not recommend using this setting, uh, cranking that much level into the limiter. I'm just demonstrating how the limiter prevents a hot signal from hitting zero. When you crank the level super hard into the limiter, you'll be raising the noise floor, turning up background noise, and your voice will sound really unnatural because it's being over compressed and smashed by the limiter at, at all times, basically. Plus, if you have game audio and desktop audio playing, you want to leave some headroom in your mix anyway. So I'll bring this back down to about 18. Okay, so now the limiter is only affecting the loudest peaks. Now, if you were to set up a limiter and then crank the level using the first method that I showed by going to the advanced audio properties, the limiter wouldn't control the boosted signal at all because you'd be boosting your signal post filters. So that's it. Add volume with the gain filter and add a limiter filter after the gain to prevent the peaks from clipping when things get really loud. Please like the video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching.